Are you wondering why you're so bloated after you eat? We're answering that question in this video. I think all of us have been there when after you eat, you're just so bloated and you're like, what just happened? But sometimes it's really obvious, maybe, you know, like, oh, it's a food. I never drive well with that food, but you know, it's, uh, it's a wedding, so let's do it. Um, but yes, I'm bloated. And there's some, actually some reasons that are really, really simple that you can start changing today and assessing that, okay, this actually is me. I am doing X. So let's fill in the X. Let's ask number one, one of the reasons you could be bloating after a meal is going to be that you are eating too fast. I know, and if you're a fast eater, you gotta slow up. Why you have to slow up is in your saliva, in your mouth. This is like phase one digestion, y'all. There's digestive enzymes in our saliva to help start breaking down food. And if, it, if you need a little graphic image, your food should basically be like so close to liquid. Like that's how much you should be chewing. If you know you are swallowing full chunks of food down your throat, then you are not chewing enough and you've got to slow down. So you're doing your body a disservice because one, you're not allowing that pre-digestion to help and make it a lot easier to break down and will give you less bloating. But two, sometimes you're just like sucking down a lot of air and that can cause bloating. So we need to make sure that we are really helping out our body out. Like, hey, there's some food. And this also triggers your stomach to catch up with your mouth and say, oop, there's some food coming. Let's start, let's start creating these enzymes and start, you know, getting our stomach acid ready to break things down. Let your body, rest of the digestion, catch up with what's in your mouth. Do not eat fast. Number two is going to be eating while stress. Because we all know when we're stressed, we're in like that fight or flight. That fight or flight is diverting all your blood, all your energy to things that's going to help you flight. Like your heart and your lungs. Your body doesn't know that there's not a tiger coming after you. So you're in this fight or flight when you actually need to be in the rest and digest where you're calm, cool, collected, your body's relaxed. It's saying when it starts feeling that there's food from um, chewing and salivating and swallowing and there's food entering your stomach, like your body's like, okay, I got this. I'm not running away from a tiger. This is a perfect time to digest. So do not eat when you are stressed. Make sure that you are in rest and digest. Make sure if you have to, meditation a couple minutes before you eat. Get your parasympathetic nervous system on. Number three is that maybe you're just having issues with digestive enzyme production, stomach acid. Yes, taking digestive enzymes can be really helpful in this case, but I encourage you to dig deeper. Why is your stomach acid or digestive enzymes not working enough, correct? Because it's as much as we just want it to be a magical pill, um, whether it's natural or prescription, it's not always the case. Getting a stool test is really helpful to see how you're digesting your foods. Is it fats, is it proteins? And also helping you find that underlying cause. Like, is there an imbalance that's throwing off our um, enzyme production, um, certain nutrient deficiencies, what is the cause? So giving a stool test is really helpful here to help you find that root cause. And of course, number four is the obvious one, food sensitivities. Maybe a food doesn't jive well with you. Um, yes, that broccoli makes you bloated or those carrots are producing inflammation and you're not able to digest it, it leaves you really bloated. So getting food sensitivities tested is awesome. In the description, I will also put a link that will talk more about food sensitivity testing, which is really vital to know so you are not getting duped on whatever you find on social media. And then the last one is maybe you're just simply drinking too much before and during your meal. Drinking water, of course I'm gonna recommend it, but a too much before you, right before you eat and then during you eating is going to dilute the stomach acid and the digestive enzymes and all that stuff that should be really concentrated to work. And it's diluted because you're drinking a lot of water. So ease up on the hydration right before and during, allow your body to digest, and then you can continue drinking your water throughout the day, which I do recommend anyways. I don't recommend like, crap, I'm low on my water, let me chug this gallon. No, the best hydration will always come from a little bit throughout the day. So I hope this helps. If you need any help, don't hesitate to reach, uh, make an appointment. 
um, with us, reach out to us. We'd love to help you kind of pull back the layers of figuring out why this is an issue for you. Our team of dietitians and nutritionists are so ready and we absolutely love gut health. So come chat with us.